What's up YouTube? Bandit here, back with another video. So this is gonna be a, not really a part to go onto the bike, uh, but this is a motorcycle jack that I'm gonna be unboxing and assembling today. This will make it easier going forward with doing any sort of installs on the bike so I can actually get the bike up off the ground and be able to work around it a little bit easier instead of it being leaned over on a kickstand. But we'll go ahead and get into this unboxing. All right, so as you can see on this little manual that they have or service center, uh, this is gonna be an OTC motorcycle jack or lift. So you can also see it here. OTC Stinger Series. So I've done some reviews on a bunch of different ones, um, trying to decide on which ones to get. I know there's a lot more like high dollar ones out there, uh, but for the purpose of what I'm using it for, I didn't feel like spending, you know, upwards of $700 or more on one is actually going to be worth it for me. So this one I got picked up on Amazon. I believe it was like 250 somewhere around there uh, in price. So first off is the little bar to move it around. We've got, it looks like some hardware or that is the actual hydraulic jack itself in there go ahead and pull that guy out this is going to be the locking bar this here is the part that will go on the back for the uh, bar here to lock onto. So this will bolt down and then that little pin there is what it locks into. And it comes with two straps as well to hold the bike down once you have it lifted up. Nice little safety feature. I mean, I have plenty of straps, but you know, I kind of like the fact that they supplied straps with the lift. Let's see what we got on this side. And this looks like the foot pedal to release the lift to come back down. All right, we'll go ahead and lift this guy out of here and start putting it together. So as you see, it's got nice, big casters. Looks like they are either gonna be either steel or cast iron, one of the two. And then same thing up at the front. You can see them there. It's a nice low profile to the floor. You gotta slide up and up underneath the bike without too much trouble. All right, let's figure out what size bolts these are, and we'll start assembling this guy. All right, so right off the bat, it doesn't really come with assembly instructions, so it has the service center list here. If for any reason you have to get any servicing done on the lift, it has English parts list and operating instructions, and then the same thing in different languages and then it's got your limited warranty for it uh, so the parts list you can kind of I guess use it to figure out what needs to go where but assembly should be pretty straightforward uh, but yeah it does not actually come with assembly instructions all right so first things first we're gonna take the actual hydraulic jack and mount it onto the lift so size of those are going to be uh, number 14 metric for these bolts. Then 
Then after we have mounted the jack, you're just gonna pull this pin out that came out from this slot here. It's gonna slide over top and you're just gonna run your pin back through. And then you just replace it with the washer and the little cotter pin. All right, so there you go. There is the actual hydraulic jack mounted. So when you do it, just make sure that you are mounting it with this pedal to the rear so you can actually use it. This is the pedal to lower it. I was actually mistaken earlier. This is the pedal to lift it. All right, so now that that's on, we're going to grab our locking bar. So this here is just a safety locking bar. And you'll see on each side, there are these four locking points on both sides. And that allows you to drop the bar into a locking point, rest it, or take weight off of the lift, lowering it down to where it engages a locking point, And then your weight's not on the hydraulic cylinder anymore. It's now resting on the locking mechanism. Or if you don't do that, it also adds a safety feature of if that hydraulic does give out, then that locking bar will then catch into those divots and keep the bike from dropping. We'll go ahead and put this locking bar on. So for this, same thing, you're just gonna have these washer and cotter pins on both sides that you will pull out, slide the locking bar on, and put them back on. And then you just reinstall the washer and the cotter pins. All right, now that that's assembled, go ahead and put the lift pedal onto it. So again, you're gonna have a bolt with a lock washer. So you just take that out, slide your lift pedal into this guy right here, line up the holes, and then replace your bolt and, or lock washer and bolt. And the last thing to go on is the actual stem for the handle. So remove those two bolts. So looking at the parts list, this stem with a little pin, the pin faces towards the front of the jack. That is now on, and now you can put the handle on. So pretty simple mechanism for the handle. It just has that little notch right there. So you just line it down to slide it on, and then just turn it. Now it locks itself in. So the rest of the features for the jack. Um, one of the reasons why I did go with this one over some of the other cheaper ones online was this one has really wide uh, lift pads and they're decently long and they're long enough for uh, the street glides from all the reviews that I did. Additionally, it comes with two tie down points on the front as well as two tie down points there on the rear rear casters you can lock and here are uh, stabilizing screws so you essentially screw these down to the floor and then now you see it's on the floor so that's going to keep this caster up off the ground keep it from rolling on you when you have the bike on it same thing on the other side and then I looked at like the Harbor Freight one 
Um, but the Harbor Freight one had little metal bars welded for the like safety lock positions where this one it's actually part of this bottom track it's all solid piece that's kind of bent up so i figured that might last longer than possibly those just little metal bars that were just welded on the ends and those welds giving out but we'll go ahead and lift this thing up and see how it does bar popping into the different positions so now I'm past the third one so now I'll press this one but lower down onto that locking bar but yeah overall I'm pleased with the assembly of it we're gonna go ahead clean up some of these boxes and everything real quick throw them into the trash and then I'll uh, back up the bike some and we'll try lifting it up. Be back with you in a second. All right, one more cool feature I want to show you guys. So this safety bar has a little clip here that it'll lock into for you putting or lowering the bike. And then if you see on this jack itself, you have this little ramped piece of metal. So what happens is as you're lowering it, that ramp will pick up this part of the bar and it'll pop it out of its safety feature or out of this lock after it's passed this last safety detent on the way down, which is a pretty cool feature. So then the next time you go to lift your bike, you're not having to remember to pop this out of the little holder. So just kind of thinking ahead, which I like that. So here I am lowering it. See it going down. And that bar is going to start hitting that ramp here. And there it pops out and it's past that last safety point, allowing the bike to go the rest of the way down. Just a cool little feature I just saw when I was lowering it. I thought that's pretty well thought out uh, on their part. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and back this bike up and be right back with you. All right, back with you. Got the bike backed up. So now we're just going to go ahead and move the jack, get it positioned underneath of it, and start lifting it up. Check the other side. Make sure that the little pads are all the way through, which they are. So I can actually, these are more than long enough. I can back this up a little bit. About right there. Make sure we have enough pad on both sides which we do for the frame and then we're just going to start lifting all right so right now i'm lifting the front faster than the back so i'm going to reposition it a little bit make sure kickstand is down it is Stand. Reposition it just a little bit left. That's lifting a lot more even. There's past the first lock. And there's the second lock. So I can just make sure that bar is all the way down. 
which it did not catch the lock on the right side. So that is a problem. That's why you always have your hand on the bike. And that's as far right as I can push it. Alright, that time it caught. Not sure why it missed the lock the first time. But it is on the lock and the bike. You get a little, little shake forward and back. But side to side, I mean, she is very steady. So there you have it. That allows me to get the bike up off the ground do any sort of work on it, clean it a little bit easier, not having to be bending over so far. Um, I'll show you guys how to lower it here in a second, but we'll do a quick walk around with it up in the air so you can see. So as I was talking about, there are the pads. So you just wanna make sure you have ample, you know, pads sticking out on both sides of the frame that it's gonna be lifting from. Come around to the other side here show you I have excess amount on this side so I could actually still pull it back quite a bit because there's the actual frame and you see how much is coming out so this lift is more than long enough for these motorcycles for the uh, actual lifting pads themselves but overall I'm pleased with it um, yeah I'm not sure why it missed the lock on that right side when I went to lower it down to the lock uh, We'll see if that continues to be an issue. If it does, I may send it back. Or I may just try and bend out that locking bar a little bit uh, to make sure that it doesn't miss that lock. So, I know you guys really didn't see it, but locked on this second one here. And this bar just went to the inside of it and down this groove, essentially. Uh, right there so it just went on to the inside so again not really sure why that happened but we'll go ahead and lower the bike back down see how fast and or slow it lowers the bike um, reviews I heard was you just press it and it comes down nice and gentle uh, just coming down to the locks it didn't seem that way to me so I'm probably gonna very easily press that pedal um, so the bike doesn't just come dropping down but kickstand is down on this side so that's a key you always want to make sure your kickstands down always keep a hand on the bike so when it does come down you can just let it come directly over to the kickstand pull this bar back lock it into place Grab the bike. Now it's very easy. Actually, I mean, that is full pressed. That really wasn't bad. The initial drop when it first engages is a little bad, but then it kind of slows itself down as it comes down, which is nice. But there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about this lift, um, I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and I will try and also remember to leave a link in the description uh, for this list. lift. I got it off of Amazon. I double checked when I was cleaning up uh, to move the bike back into position. Um, I double checked that the lift costs 292. dollars uh, so essentially $300 for this lift versus some of them out there. There's Pitbull. There's a couple others that everybody's like, oh, those are the lifts you want. They're great. And I understand that they may be a little bit better construction overall, but at the end of the day, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic. So I'm not going to be sitting here using the lift all the time to lift bikes up and down repetitively to do work on them. Uh, I just have my own personal bike that I'll be using the lift every now and then to clean it, to install parts on it, stuff like that. Um, so that's why I went with a little bit cheaper and there were really good reviews on this. 
So I'm pleased with it. But if you have any questions about the lift or anything else, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. I'll also leave a link to this lift in the uh, description below for, in case you're interested in picking one of these up. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and as always, stay safe out there, keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the road. Band it out.